I think deep down inside, I'm just like a savage. I have this, I, I just have these things in my mind that I use as fuel, pain and suffering and all the things that I've, that I've gone through. And I'm just, it's in, in, ingrained in my DNA. It's just me. Doing the Hawaii Ironman World Championships 2010 and 11 was number one a huge accomplishment, yeah. But for me, the Ironman was never a goal for me to do that. The goal was to get myself right. The Ironman was just a vehicle for me to get there, and it's just some, it's just a platform for me to, to show up and show out of uh, the internal battles that I overcame, the physical challenges I had to overcome the prosthetic equipment that I had to overcome, you know, waking up in the morning, putting the legs on, blisters, building my own legs in Home Depot, all of those challenges that I had to overcome on my own that nobody ever, ever saw. That's why I get up in the morning and I, and I train. It's not to, not to win a medal, not to cross a race, nothing like that. It's, it's because this is my life. This is who I want to be. This is what I fought for from when I was born to, to today. And, and I'm going to hold on to that no matter what. When I was 26 years old, I was going through a huge transitional change in my life. I was partying a lot. I was drinking, I was smoking cigarettes. Uh, I was in reckless relationships. I was lost. I don't really remember from 23 to about 25, 26. I don't remember those years at all. I ended up going to church. I ended up start go, starting to go to church. I didn't tell anybody because I was ashamed of that. I was ashamed of what people were going to think because I was never the, the, the church boy. I was not living like that. And then, um, like I gave my life to Jesus that day and it was just like, like, I felt like everything like totally opened up for me. And that's where that revelation came. That's where my life slowly started to transition from the guy who was insecure the guy who was ashamed of himself, the guy who wanted to kill himself, the guy who tried to hide himself for 27 years, hide his legs, hide his arms, hide his, his entire life, literally. I didn't have to be that guy anymore. My goal and my dream ultimately is to go speak to the nations, to go around and go visit every nation and speak to people and, and, and share my message, share what I can do, share my faith, share my beliefs and, and show people, not just by talking, but show them through action that, uh, that, that they can turn their lives around.